Hello, and welcome to another video by Fly the FI. We continue discussing the Bendix King KLN89, in this case there is no B, GPS. The difference is KLN89B can do IFR non-precision approaches, this one does not. Today we're going to talk about the VOR chapter. After you turn your machine on, whatever page you end up on, please navigate to the NDB by using the big knob, turn it right or left, and notice that big dash. Make sure that dash is on top of the VOR label, and that's a VOR chapter, and it's also confirmed by this display. You are on chapter VOR, page 1. The VOR chapter has two pages, 1, 2 back to one. And on the right hand side it has all kinds of information uh, about the VOR you're interested in. And the way you use the VOR chapter is during your flight, you don't want to interrupt your flight uh, waypoints and sequencing, you want to get an information about an, a, a VOR that you're either passing or you're uh, want a, a relative position of your aircraft relative to that uh, VOR, or you simply you want to navigate to it and you want to get the uh, frequency of it, you can simply navigate, like I said, to the VOR chapter, page 1, and wherever you are, in this case, Martinsburg MRB, which is one of the ones we've used as an example before, let us use the Linden VOR. To get to the Linden VOR, you can click the cursor, and right off the bat, the first position is highlighted, Turn to the left for L, use the big knob to go to the next position, and use the inner knob to go to the letter D, and then the big knob to the third position, the inner knob to the letter N, and there it is, Linden VOR, and at this point I can turn the cursor off and read the information. Information presented to me includes the identifier, LDN, the name of the VOR, Linden, the longitude and latitude, northern and western uh, positional information, and most importantly, the frequency. That's a 114.3 on your uh, uh, navigation radio that will help you tune to the Linden VOR. If I go to page number two, I get more information on Linden VOR. It says magnetic variation for Linden VOR is westerly 6 degrees. It's automatically calculated by the GPS. Uh, my aircraft position relative to the Linden VOR is 33.2 nautical miles on the 257.2 bearing, meaning wherever I am right now, if I put in 257 headings in my heading indicator and travel 33.0 nautical miles, very likely I'm going to go to Linden VOR. And of course, if you enter that into your OBS to navigate using the VOR, put your uh, needle on 257, it will help you navigate directly to Linden VOR. Let's go to page number one, and examining that, let's turn the cursor on and see what else we can change. Of course, we can change the identifier and look at another uh, VOR, but let's skip that. And uh, in this case, it's telling me if you are looking for a VOR, start typing, or by full spelling of it, you can start typing here. Uh, you can speed forward that. Go to the end and notice turning the knob will not get me anywhere else, meaning I cannot change this frequency and I cannot change these positions. For now, I'm going to turn this off. I go to page number two and then I click the cursor 
and I don't want to change the identifier, so I skip. Notice I cannot go to this line, it's fixed, but I can go to the radial and the bearing entries. With this two sign, greater than sign, I can then use my clear button to display something else. And it's now telling me my relative position is at 72 bearing, uh, uh, radial, 72 radial from. Now if I click this again, it cycled back to it. So the only two values I can use is the to or the from. I can move to the next one, but it will not let me. That's all I can use. In this case, I can hit the cursor and it'll stop. Go to page number one. And that's basically all about chapter VOR and it's page number one, page number two. If you want to uh, try to find a VOR by its name, not identifier, let's give that a shot. Come to wherever you are, from wherever you are, come to the VOR chapter, page one, turn the cursor on, skip the identifier, come down to the name of the VOR itself. Let's attempt to find the Martinsburg VOR by spelling Martinsburg. So L, M, A is already in. Let's go to A, R. L, P, Q, R. Let's move with the big knob to the next position. Martin, let's go for the letter T. All right, let's move to the next one. Let's go over the letter I. And notice, GPS is smart enough to have suggested to you, are you looking for Martinsburg? And that's really what we are looking for. So we don't need to continue spelling out the Martinsburg word. At this point, I can simply click the cursor, and there it is, identifier MRB, frequency 112.1, and 3352 bearing will get me to MRB 22.9, nautical miles away. And that's it basically for the VOR chapter. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I'd like to encourage you to like this video and leave me comments so I know how well I'm doing, what uh, things I need to change if any or what videos you'd like to see related to navigating in the November 663 Sierra Pop, which is what this channel is devoted to. It's our plane uh, located in the Leesburg Airport. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hope to see you on another video by Fly DFI.